Chapter 2. Who are the Pleiadians? The earliest known depiction of the Pleiades is likely a northern German Bronze Age artifact known as the Nebra Sky Disk, dated to approximately 1600 BC. Today, the Pleiades are officially considered part of the constellation of Taurus the Bull. Most people view the Pleiades as located on the shoulder of the bull and some on the neck, others on the back. The Romans, namely Hyginus, placed them on the hindquarter by Finley, Columina, Vitruvius, and Nicander placed them on the tail of the bull. Plinley is also reported to have made them out as a separate constellation. The Greeks, namely Erotothesinesis, Homer, and Hesod, placed them above the bull and separate from it. The Greek astronomer Exudius in Eratus, who was a poet, placed them near the knee of Perseus, a constellation to the north of them and again separate from Taurus. The Jews and Arabians placed the Pleiades on the rump of Aries, which is signified by the ram, and which is the constellation to the east of them. The Hindus placed them on the head of the bull. The rest of the ancient world seems to view the Pleiades as a separate constellation. DNA confirms Pleiadians mated with primitive humans. Pleiades aliens, or Nordic aliens, are alien beings from the star cluster Pleiades in the constellation Taurus. They have been described by many as humanoid, very tall in stature with light blonde hair and an extremely fair skin tone. Various theorists have claimed that the Pleiades aliens and humans share a common ancestor, but no evidence of this has ever been discovered until now. Due to the aliens' exceptionally fair appearance and above average height, the Northern European races, particularly the Scandinavians, have long been hypothesized to be the closest hybrid race of humans and Pleiades aliens. The recent discovery of the 3,600-year-old Nebra sky disk in Germany, which provides a clear star map to the Pleiades star system, has once again fueled many debates that the Nordics do share a common ancestor with the Pleiades aliens. Why would they have a detailed star map of the Pleiades? How did DNA testing recently find out about Pleiades aliens and humans having a common ancestor? Modern DNA technology has been able to trace the ancestry of all humans through DNA testing. All humans share common DNA markers or traits that allow geneticists to trace your ethnic groups. Even if you are of one pure nationality, you will have some overlapping DNA markers of other ethnic groups to varying degrees. After all, we are all humans, or are we? Haplogroups relate to our deep ancestry. Deep ancestry is not traditional genealogy. It is not for tracing family or confirming family linkages. Deep ancestry is to look at our ancient ancestral roots from tens of thousands of years ago and shows how all people living today are connected to an ancient ancestor who lived in Africa over 100,000 years ago. The World Genographic Project has been testing haplogroups worldwide until recently and has had no cause for alarm until it, is, it was discovered that between 4,000 to 6,000 years ago, a small group of extremely unusual DNA was introduced into the population of Denmark. Geneticists have named it Halpa Group I1 and have no idea where it came from. It only appears in the Nordic races and to small degrees in countries that have been invaded by Nordics, such as England and Ireland. No other group of people on the planet have this DNA unless they have come to, in contact with Nordic peoples. It is the root cause for the Nordic appearance. All other Europeans and most humans have R, R1A or R1B halpo groups. 
It is suggested that Nordic people have alien ancestors and they do not have a large amount of distinctive DNA that is without explanation and it is not found anywhere else. They resemble Pleiades aliens and appear to have been hybridized by the advanced Pleiades aliens in our ancient past. They can tolerate extreme climates that other humans cannot. Exceptionally physical people often displaying great strength. They look completely different than any other Europeans. They are 95% atheist and have no belief in God system. They are extremely intelligent, scientific. They were able to sail around the globe using the stars as guides from memory. They are also able to speak multiple earth languages and unable to be directly exposed to our earth sun without burning, suggesting they did not evolve on earth. Pleiadians on earth. UFO and paranormal researchers have made the bizarre claim that a sleeper cell of members of an alien race known as the Pleiadians, who were an extraterrestrial humanoid species from the Pleiades cluster of stars, has been uncovered in the remote area of rural Argentina. According to the reports making the rounds in the UFO and paranormal research, an isolated community of purebred Pleiadians have been uncovered in the rural area of northwestern Argentina, about 70 miles from the provincial seat of Salta, precisely between Cachi and the rural La Poma. The online UFO and alien research community is abuzz with the news of the discovery of an alleged extraterrestrial community. Pleiades is an open cluster of stars about 400 light years away. The Pleiadian aliens come from a planet in the star system, according to alien hunters. The Pleiadians are known as Nordic aliens and are humanoid-like aliens that come from the stellar system surrounding the Pleiades stars, as stated by the UFO blogger Scott Waring. Alien hunters claim that the community was found after a very careful search because it's very difficult for strangers unfamiliar with the lay of the vast tracts of undeveloped land in the northern Argentina to spot the community hidden behind hills and thick vegetation. Visitors who make it to the gates, blocking access to the community, must ring a bell to make sure their presence is known. Recently, an investigator was given a rare opportunity to enter the secret community. We were expecting you. Our brothers of light told us you would be coming a leader of the community reportedly told the investigator. Members of the community allegedly confessed to investigators that they were extraterrestrial beings from a distant star. They claimed that they were living on Earth as heralds of the end of an evolutionary cycle, a statement that could be interpreted from the perspective of Earthlings as a threat of impending invasion and takeover. While the unlikely news of impending takeover of Earth could cause alarm for many members of the New Age movement, are excited because all traditions concerning the Pleiadians agree that they are a very highly evolved and spiritual race, deeply concerned about the welfare of humans and the earth and want to help humanity evolve to a higher spiritual level. Thus, a takeover of earth might not be a thing to fear with the world in conflict threat of nuclear annihilation and global warning. Some alien hunters and contactees believe that the Pleiadian stage is the next stage of human evolution. According to local paranormal investigators, only two Pleiadian communities have been identified in Salta, but it is believed that there may be more than 30 hidden communities in Argentina and the rest of the world, a community that claims to be descended from Pleiadian settlers from distant stars has also been uncovered in the Salta Providence. According to the lore of paranormal alien research, the Pleiadians are an extraterrestrial race from the planet Era, one of the seven stars visible to the naked eye in the Pleiades star system, a beautiful and dazzling open star cluster about 400 light years away in the constellation Taurus. On the galactic scale of interstellar distances, Pleiades is one of the nearest star clusters to our sun. 
Although only seven stars in the cluster are visible to the naked eye, there are hundreds of stars in the system. According to ET experts, Nordic aliens or Pleiadians are very similar to humans in appearance, and it is often very difficult for the untrained eye to tell the difference. Thus, they are able to live among humans undetected. A way to hunt for and identify a Nordic alien or Pleiadian, according to alien hunters, is to look out for exceptionally good looking individuals with exaggerated Scandinavian or Nordic features, such as fair hair, skin, and blue eyes. Native Americans, such as the Cherokee, have legends that their ancestors came from Pleiades long ago. And while it is not thought that the modern day Cherokee and other Native Americans are pure Pleiadians, alien hunters believe that they have Pleiadian genes. Some alien hunters also claim that the Scandinavian populations of Northern Europe may have genetic links to fair-skinned Pleiadians and that the recently discovered Halpo group I1, unique to Finland and Scandinavian populations, was probably derived from Pleiadian ancestors. An apparent contradiction that arises from the claim that the Pleiadians are very spiritually advanced is that their native Pleiades star system is very young, only about 150 million years old, according to astronomers. According to scientists, if life has started evolving anywhere in the Pleiades star system, it could not have evolved beyond an equal equivalent to bacteria on Earth. But alien hunters explain away this apparent contradiction by claiming that the ancestors of the Pleiadians are another race called the Lyrans, who were forced out of the ancestral planet Lyra in a different galaxy during savage wars with neighboring alien races millions of years ago. The Lyrans arrived in our galaxy on advanced intergalactic spaceships or beam ship, similar to those used by the gray aliens. They settled in the Pleiades millions of years ago and discovered Earth more than 200,000 years ago alien contactees claim. Alien hunters and contactees claim that after they discovered the earth, the Pleiadians engaged in controlled and limited interbreeding with primitive humans. This explains why some human races, such as Native Americans and Nordic humans, are believed to have Pleiadian blood. Surprising DNA found in Southern Europe. Since the beginning of human migration, the Iberian Peninsula, home of modern day Spain and Portugal, has been a place where the cultures of Africa, Europe, and the Mediterranean have mingled. In a new paper in the journal Science, a group of 111 population geneticists and archeologists charted 8,000 years of genetics in the region. They paint a picture that shows plenty of genetic complexity, but that also hints a single mysterious migration about 4,500 years ago that completely shook up the ancient Li Iberians' DNA. The team searched DNA evidence for clues to how and when the various populations became a part of the Iberian Peninsula's gene pool. They sequenced the genomes of 271 ancient Iberians and they then combined that information with previously published data about 132 other ancient peninsula dwellers. The men from the steeps. Beginning in the Bronze Age, the genetic makeup of the area changed dramatically. Starting in about 2500 BC, genes associated with people from the steeps near the Black and Caspian Seas in what is now Russia can be detected in the Iberian gene pool. And from about 2500 BC, much of the population's DNA was replaced with that of the steep people. The steep hypothesis holds that the group spread east into Asia and west into Europe at around the same time. And the current study shows that they also made it to Iberia. Though 60% of the region's total DNA remained the same, the Y chromosomes of the inhabitants were most 
entirely replaced by 2000 BC. That suggests a massive influx of men from the steep since Y chromosomes are carried only by men. It looks like the influence was very male dominated, said Miguel Villar, a genetic anthropologist who serves as senior program officer for the National Geographic Society. Who were these men and where did they come? Did they come in peace? Villar, who was not involved with the study, speculates that the steep men may have come on horses bearing bronze weapons, hence ushering in the Bronze Age to the area. He compares the migration to the one the indigenous people of North and South America faced when the first Europeans landed in the 19, excuse me, the 1490s. It shows that you could have a migration all the way across the whole continent of Europe and still have a heavy influence on this far extreme, he says. Although bronze came into use in Iberia around the time, no other distinct traces of steep culture have yet been found. The study did show that people in present day Basque who speak Western Europeans only non-Indo-European language carry genetic markers closely related to those of the steep people. Unlike modern Spaniards, modern day Basques don't show the same amount of genetic mixing that happened on the peninsula over the centuries. The team also found a single individual with North African DNA from a site in the middle of Iberia. His bones date about 2500 BC. At the beginning, I thought it was a mistake, said Ingo Oladel, a population geneticist who led the study. When he replicated his work, it checked out. The presence of the lone African suggests early sporadic interchange between Iberia and North Africa, making sense of archeological discoveries of African ivory at Copper Age Iberian digs. But the team thinks that North African ancestry only became widespread in Iberia in about the last 2000 years. This is because the Anunnaki populated Europe in the ancient past known in the Greek myths as the Atlanteans. They were the force, <clears throat> they were forced out of Europe by the Athenians or modern day Europeans.